Snapping turtles usually don't mind sharing water where humans also swim. As long as we don't bother them, they tend to go and hide in the mud or grass. Actually, you should be happy to see her. Years ago, animals struggled to survive here because the Bronx River was polluted. What changed? Well, people in the community helped clean up the river. So now, snapping turtles and other animals, like egrets, ducks, and fish, can live here. And snapping turtles return the favor. They help keep the river healthy by eating all kinds of things. Worms, insects, fish, and plants. Wow, I didn't know that. But what are you doing with snapping turtles? Well, we're collecting information to help scientists understand how well snapping turtles are doing in their habitat. What kind of information? We're counting how many we're finding. And to monitor their health, we're measuring the turtle shells and tails. It's sort of like when you go to the doctors for a checkup. That is awesome. That's right. And since she's so big, we know that she's been living a healthy life here for about 20 years. So to keep wildlife healthy, we need to do everything we can to protect their habitats, especially in the places that we share. 